Let's do another one. Essen. Essen. Again, remember the E changed to I in our head. We are doing the do form, do ist, but we drop off the ending and we don't think about the do, so what's left is is. So we say, Peter, eat your food. Is dein Mittagessen? Oder is deinen Kuchen? Oder is dein Brot? And one more, for example, nehmen. That means to take, remember, nehmen. In our head, we are thinking about the do form, remember, to change to I and to M's. Du nimmst, okay, we don't need the do, we don't need the ending, what's left is nim, take. For example, you have a headache and you tell, Peter has a headache and you tell him to take two aspirin. Peter nimmt zwei aspirin. All right, these were the vowel changing forms where E changed to I, E. Now let's look at some of those. Other ones we had, for example, fahren. So the A, what did the A change to? Remember, it changed to do fast. But when we use these in commands, fahren, laufen, all the verbs that have the A's, the A vowels in them, laufen, schlafen would be another one, A, or let's see what else we have here, waschen, to wash. Another example where we had the A. Now we treat these just like regular verbs. We do not put umlauts on. As we had learned in the do form, no umlaut. We just drop off the EN and we have our command. We treat them as if they were regular verbs. So, fa, drive, lauf, run. If you tell somebody to, to go to sleep, schlaf. Or you tell somebody to wash their car, wash. Yeah, wash dein Auto, Peter. It's dirty, okay? So, these were the vowel changing verbs, but only the ones that change from E to I use the command form with that change. Verbs that had A in them do not use the umlaut and they act like regular verbs. They just drop off the en. All right, so lies, gib, is, nim. These are the e to i verbs. The a verbs don't change. Fa, schlaf, lauf, wasch, and so on. All right. Now we sometimes remember the verbs that had to add a little ending when we in, in the do form like t or d verbs like finden, du findest, where we had to add an E before the ending. Now, how do they form their command? This is easy too. We just drop off the N here and leave the E, and that gives us the command. Antworte, answer me. So, if a stem ends in T, we just drop off the N, leave the E intact, antworte. Or if we tell somebody, find something, Remember, finden, somebody replaced something, finden, so we drop off the N, leave the E intact, and that gives us our command, finde. All right, this was easy. Now look at several prefix commands. What do you think happens to those? Remember we learned the prefix goes to the end when it's used in a sentence? All right, so what do you think happens? We look at the main verb, which is common, right? It's a regular verb and we learn we drop off the EN when we make a do command. So, we say COM and we learn the prefix goes all the way to the end. COMMIT, here we go. COME ALONG, COMMIT. Let's look at AUFSTEHEN, just to get another practice in here. STEHEN is the main verb, right? So, regular verb, drop off the EN. Steh, and prefix goes to the end, auf, steh auf. And this covers all the possibilities for do commands with regular verbs, vowel changing verbs, verbs with stem endings of D and T, and several prefix commands. Now you can go around and boss your friends around.